Imagine for a moment the fictional fortress of solitude from the world of Superman, a surreal expanse filled with gigantic translucent crystals piercing through an icy backdrop. Now, what if I told you that a place eerily similar to this fantasy exists deep beneath our feet? Let's journey to the Cave of Crystals in Nica, Mexico. Deep inside the earth, nearly 300 meters below the surface, in a remote mine in Mexico, lies an unexpected geological wonder. The Cave of Crystals, or Cueva de los Cristales as the locals call it. Discovered in 2000 by miners searching for fresh ore deposits, this cavern defies imagination. Instead of dark, winding pathways or typical stalactites, this cavern houses colossal selenite crystals. These pristine, translucent monoliths dwarf humans, some extending to 36 feet in length and weighing an incredible 55 tons. The environment inside the cave isn't just geologically special, it's also extremophile heaven. With temperatures soaring up to 58 degrees and a humidity level of nearly 99%, it's a place where humans can survive for only a brief period, even with protective gear. So how did these monumental crystals form? The cave sits above a pocket of magma, which heats the groundwater immersed in the caverns. Rich in minerals, especially gypsum, this heated water provided the perfect conditions for the slow, undisturbed growth of these selenite giants. Over half a million years, the crystals thrived in this unique cocktail of elements, reaching their monumental sizes. Scientists, braving the cave's harsh conditions, have been keen to study these crystals. Within, they found ancient microbes trapped in tiny fluid pockets, potentially offering insights into life forms that existed thousands, if not millions, of years ago. These ancient life forms might even provide clues about potential extraterrestrial life, how it could survive and where we might find it. Since the mine's operations have ceased, preserving the Cave of Crystals has become a topic of concern. Without the mining company's pumps extracting groundwater, the caves are slowly being submerged. There's a delicate balance to strike between conserving this geological wonder for future generations and ensuring its environment remains undisturbed, allowing the crystals to continue their age-old growth. Imagine sliding your feet into a pair of shoes that were last worn over 3,000 years ago. It sounds like something straight out of a time-traveling narrative, doesn't it? But in the cool darkness of Armenia's Arini 1 cave, archaeologists stumbled upon just such a relic, the world's oldest known leather shoe. In 2008, within the depths of the Arini 1 cave, researchers found a shoe remarkably preserved and made entirely of cowhide. Fashioned with leather laces and stuffed with grass, this footwear dates back to 3500 BC. This makes it older than Stonehenge, the Great Pyramids of Giza, and even the written word as we know it. It's fascinating to observe the detailed craftsmanship in this Bronze Age shoe. The technique used was similar to moccasin-style footwear, stitched together in a way that provided durability and comfort. This ancient shoe offers a tangible glimpse into the life and culture of people from the Bronze Age, illustrating not just their survival needs, but also their intricate skill and artistry. It's awe-inspiring to realize that our ancestors, thousands of years ago, shared our same basic need for protective footwear and went about crafting solutions with such finesse. The Arini 1 cave, where the shoe was found, is a treasure trove for archaeologists. Alongside the shoe, researchers discovered winemaking equipment, dried fruits and even a 5,900-year-old straw skirt. These finds suggest that the cave served multiple purposes, from a dwelling place to a space for community gatherings and rituals. The grass found stuffed in the shoe might have been a method for keeping the foot warm or maintaining the shoe's shape. But it also hints at the seasonal changes the ancient inhabitants of the region might have experienced and adapted to. The discovery of the Bronze Age shoe is not just about unearthing a piece of ancient fashion. It symbolizes human innovation and adaptability. From the caves to modern metropolises, our species has constantly evolved, innovating and adapting to our environment. When we think of art galleries, grand museums filled with contemporary and classical masterpieces come to mind. But what if I told you that the earliest art galleries were tucked away in the heart of European caves and the artists were Neanderthals? Deep within the limestone caves of Spain, researchers uncovered a game-changing discovery wall paintings that predate modern humans' arrival in Europe. The Cueva de los Aviones and La Pasiega, to be specific, housed stencil-like handprints, abstract geometric designs and depictions of animals. 
Radiocarbon dating places these paintings at around 64,000 years old, a time when only Neanderthals roamed the continent. The discovery jolted the anthropological community. For years, the narrative held strong. Only Homo sapiens possessed the cognitive abilities for symbolic thinking and artistry. But these cave paintings, undeniably the work of Neanderthals, challenge that. Could it be that our long-lost cousins were not just hunters and gatherers, but also artists? Delving deeper into the intricacies of the artwork, one can't help but marvel. The use of red and black pigments, possibly derived from minerals like iron oxide, suggests a level of resourcefulness. The motifs, although seemingly random, might possess deeper meanings. The handprints, perhaps, were a form of signature or a way to make their presence felt, while the animals could represent the fauna they encountered or revered. The geometric patterns, well, those remain a tantalizing mystery. Some hypothesize they could be early forms of counting, maps, or even spiritual symbols. These cave paintings were not just mere doodles. Their locations, often deep within the caves and away from living quarters, indicate they held significant importance. Ritualistic, perhaps, a way for the Neanderthals to connect with a world beyond theirs to invoke protection, luck in hunts, or even fertility. Let's embark on a journey deep into the heartland of America. Imagine walking in a forest and stumbling upon an entrance to a subterranean world that's been untouched for over a millennium. Welcome to the Lost Cave of the Ozarks. Located in the dense forests of the Ozarks, the entrance to this cave remained concealed by thick vegetation for centuries. It was purely by chance during a hiking expedition that the entrance was found. What lay within was nothing short of a treasure trove, a perfect blend of natural wonder and human history. As explorers ventured deeper into the cave, they were met with stunning geological formations. Stalactites and stalagmites, resembling intricate sculptures, adorned the cave's chambers. Underground streams flowed, and in some areas, rare and delicate cave crystals sparkled, revealing an underground realm that had evolved in isolation. But it wasn't just nature's handiwork that left researchers in awe. Scattered around the cave were remnants from indigenous civilizations that had called the region home over a thousand years ago. Pottery shards, stone tools, and even fragments of woven materials suggested that the cave was once a site of importance. Could it have been a ceremonial center, a refuge during troubled times, or perhaps a sacred burial site? On the walls of one chamber, pictographs painted with earthy pigments showcase scenes from everyday life and spiritual beliefs. Hunting expeditions, dances, and ceremonies were depicted, offering a window into the lives of the cave's ancient inhabitants. These pictographs, protected from external environmental factors, had retained their vibrancy, making them one of the most well-preserved collections in North America. As archaeologists and historians collaborated, they began to piece together the cave's significance. Its remote location, combined with the presence of ritualistic artifacts, suggested that it might have been a spiritual haven. The Ozarks, with its hills and dense forests, has long been considered a place of mystery and reverence by various indigenous groups. The Lost Cave seems to amplify that sentiment. From the surface, our planet might seem like a sprawling tapestry of diverse habitats, but underneath, there are ecosystems that defy our understanding, hidden realms where sunlight never ventures. Let's dive deep into one such place, the subterranean jungle. Located deep within a cave system in Southeast Asia, the subterranean jungle was stumbled upon during a geological survey. But rather than finding a standard dark and damp cave environment, explorers were met with an explosion of life. Illuminated by bioluminescent fungi and bacteria, the walls of the cavern shimmered in shades of green and blue. Without sunlight, photosynthesis as we know it is impossible. But here in the heart of the subterranean jungle, life has found a way. Certain species of plants, believed to be remnants of an era when the cave was still open to the world above, have evolved to survive in near total darkness. They derive energy not from the sun, but from the bioluminescent organisms around them in a delicate balance of symbiosis. Flitting shadows reveal a variety of cave-adapted creatures that call this luminous world home. Blind salamanders navigate through streams using heightened senses of touch and smell. Transparent spiders spin their webs, almost invisible to the naked eye, catching prey that's attracted to the glowing fungi. 
Even certain species of fish, pale and sightless, have adapted to the cave's unique conditions, feeding off microscopic organisms in the water. How did such a complex ecosystem develop deep underground? Scientists believe that the subterranean jungle was once above ground millions of years ago. Over time, tectonic shifts caused it to sink below the surface, trapping a slice of an ancient forest inside. Isolated from the outside world, the plants and animals trapped within began their long process of evolution, resulting in the incredible ecosystem we see today. In conditions where we might assume survival is impossible, nature pushes its boundaries, creating wondrous habitats and species. It's a humbling reminder that even in the deepest, darkest corners of our planet, life, against all odds, finds a way. And it challenges our understanding of where life can exist, uh, not just on Earth, but potentially in the vast universe beyond. And as always, thanks for watching.